How's it going, Dopamon fans? It has finally happened. Shane Wright has been traded. Not by the Seattle Kraken, but by the Kingston Frontenacs. That's right, this is an OHL trade. Top talents like Wright don't usually get traded in the OHL, but what makes this such a big deal isn't just the trade itself, but Shane Wright's inaugural season up to this point. Of course, drafted fourth overall after being presumed by many to be the top talent, it came as a shock to many that to start the NHL season, he was a healthy scratch for 11 of Seattle's first 18 games, putting up only one assist. And after a two-week conditioning stint in the AHL, he came back up and scored his first and only NHL goal so far against the Montreal Canadiens, the team that didn't draft him first overall. It seems like that was just karma though, as he was a healthy scratch after that point until the World Juniors, finishing his first NHL season averaging only 8 minutes and 29 seconds per night, and putting up just one goal and one assist. Unfortunately, the World Juniors really weren't a highlight or turnaround for him either. 7 points in 7 games does seem like a good pace, but being the captain of a Canadian team with so much firepower, he was expected to perform better but was simply outshined by the younger Connor Bedard. Of course, Bedard outshined everybody at the tournament, but there was still more expected from Wright, who just seemed flat as a third line center. And that brings us to last Friday where after the World Juniors, it was announced that Shane Wright would not only be reassigned to the OHL, but was likely to be traded as well. The Kingston Frontenacs are a young team, even by Junior League standards, and the return for Wright would be too much to pass on, so for them it makes sense to collect young talent and draft picks. And tonight the trade was announced, informally at least reported by Darren Dreger, Ryan Kennedy, and Scott Wheeler. The deal is all but done to send Shane Wright to the Windsor Spitfire in exchange for Ethan Midema, who is a top prospect for the 2023 NHL draft, along with multiple OHL draft picks. The details are unclear, the return probably won't be known until tomorrow when all the paperwork is submitted and approved by the league, but the framework for the trade is here, and it is official. So, let me know down below what you guys think of the trade of Shane Wright's season so far, of him being sent down. Is he a draft bust? A late bloomer? I want to know what you guys think. Personally, I think this is going to be good for him. One of the biggest concerns surrounding his play has been his mental game. I just I don't think that struggling at the NHL level is good for his confidence and would only make his mental game worse. He is very skilled and putting that skill to his game, I think that at the OHL level, uh, you know, as a number one center in that role for a junior team, I think that's what he needs to get scoring again and then maybe bring that energy into next season when he fights for an NHL roster spot. That's all for this one. Thank you all so much for watching. We're Dopamon. My best friend and I talk hockey news, analysis. We got trade speculation, mock drafts, and scouting reports, and just lots of fun stuff coming up. So hit like and subscribe to stick around for more dope hockey content. Peace.